Write the following summation in expanded form. And in this example, you don't really need to go through the arithmetic to uh, calculate what the summation is. So again, this sigma is a summation symbol. It just means that you're going to start with the variable at this value and keep going until you reach the top value. Um, so we're just going to take this expression for b squared minus 2b, okay, which you can see is going to happen 1, 2, 3, 4, five times. Again, we're going to go from one to five, so there'll be five different expressions that are all going to be added together. And then we're just going to replace the values from one all the way up to five. So we have four, one squared minus two times one plus four times two squared minus two times two, etc. And we're just, everything in parentheses here is just being moved up in each step. So from one to two to three, all the way up to five. Now, if you're asked to evaluate it, then you're going to need to actually find the final value. So you would do, you know, each of these, um, evaluate them, and then find the total sum at the end.